Okay. Hi everyone, it is great to see you back here on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I'm going to do the Anything But Books tag by, created by Katie from Read or Rot. And um, I don't think I was tagged by anyone to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways because I really want to do it. Um, I know I have other tag videos that I was tagged to do, but I decided to do this one instead. So, um, I've got my laptop in front of me so that I can like look at the questions and then answer them for you guys. So let's just get into it. Question number one is name a cartoon that you love. And for this one, I'm going to have to go with this. Yes, I freaking love Rick and Morty. Um, I like a lot of cartoons, but I have to mention Rick and Morty because I love it so much. I'm also going to do a throwback and throw in Spongebob in there. Um, and I've also lately really been liking Avatar, The Last Airbender, so I guess I just answered with three. So, there you go. Question number two is, what is your favorite song right now? And, um, if we want to go with, like, top hits or, like, what's on the radio, I'll have to go with Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. Um, but if we're gonna go off of my Spotify, I've been listening to Vivaldi right now, and I've been listening to the Four Seasons because I really like how um, each of the four seasons that he created goes along with a poem that he wrote, so you kind of know the feeling of the music. I think that, I don't know, something about the intersection of poetry and music together is just freaking amazing. Um, so I've been listening to that lately. Question three is, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? And I could do a lot of things for hours that isn't reading. I could be painting, I could be watching other people's YouTube videos, I could be um, listening to music, I could be cooking, I could be on Netflix, I could be writing, I could be basically just sleeping. <laughs> so there are a lot of things I could be doing. Question number four is, what is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? And for this one, I'm going to answer, because I'm not entirely sure if I've talk, talked about this before on this channel, but I do enjoy playing soccer a lot. Um, I've played, I, I have two games every week. I play on an all-women's team and then a co-ed team, and I play indoor soccer or arena soccer. Um, I don't play outdoor soccer as much anymore because the team I was on is like really far for me to travel to go to and... Um, it's just like not worth it for me anymore, but I still love soccer. I love playing soccer. I love watching soccer. I've played ever since I was younger. I've made it all the way up until uh, community college. I played on my community college team and then I decided not to play at my four year university when I transferred, but yeah, I've coached soccer. I've coached uh, middle school soccer, high school soccer. They've asked me to coach competitive soccer but it just doesn't work with my work right now. So yeah, I really love soccer and I don't think I've ever talked about that here on this channel before. Question five is what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? This can do with books, I guess. Um, let's think, unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? I think it would have to be well, right now, I'm really intrigued of the notion of zero waste and minimalism, but that's just like a fad that I've been into. Um, I feel like my personality tends to lean towards minimalism anyways. I always like purge my closet of things I don't wear anymore, but uh, things that I really love to learn about, I guess, yeah. Like the vegan lifestyle, minimalist lifestyle, those types of things. So I'm just going to go with that for now. I can't think of an overarching theme. Um, I obviously love anything about psychology. That's what I studied in university. And um, in particular, the psychology of prejudice and discrimination and social psychology. Those are all, to me, things that are like super interesting. If I ever read anything on them, then I'm like pulled in immediately. Okay, number six is what is something unusual you know how to do? I honestly, I don't know. I don't do anything unusual, I think. Um, I really, I honestly don't have an answer for this one and I feel so boring now. Oh my god. I, 
I can roll my tongue, but that's not that unusual. So I'm gonna answer that, but that's not that unusual. So if it counts, I don't know. Number seven is name something you've made in the last year and show us if you can. <gasps> I can actually, I'll be right back. All right, so this is a watercolor that I did. Just checking to see if you could see it. Um, this was my first like time I tried to do like the galaxy effect. <laughs> Um, but I made this last week. Actually, exactly a week ago from today. It was on... Oh wait, no, it was on a Sunday, so... Today is a Saturday, and I made this on a Sunday. And yeah, I drew inspiration from the cover of this book, The Twister's Key, so yes. I hope the colors show up, but the mountains are, in fact, blue. You just can't necessarily see them. But yeah, that's something I made recently. Uh, number eight is, what is your most recent personal project? And I'm not sure if by personal project it means like me personally, like a, per a project I'm working on on myself or if it means like a personal project that I'm working on. I'm reading too much into this, I know I am, but um, I'm going to answer twice because just to cover both. Um, a personal project that I'm working on right now obviously is my novel, it's my work in progress and I feel like lately I've been actually making good progress. I'm not, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just continuing anyways. <laughs> and then uh, a project I'm working on on myself is to be more present and I've recently been picking up yoga, so like be more in tune with my body and um, just sort of listening to my body and being more aware, I guess. Question number nine is tell us something you think about often, maybe while staring out of windows. And um, for this, I think of, this is gonna, I feel like people are gonna analyze my answer to this one, but um, when I'm at work or whatever, when I'm staring out of windows, I often think about traveling the world, like literally quitting my job and going on a huge trip, well obviously after saving up money, but um, traveling the world and volunteering around the world and just seeing different parts of life that I don't see. So I think about that honestly a lot and I think if money weren't an issue, I would not be here, I would be traveling. Question number 10 is give us something that's your favorite. Oh, but make it something oddly specific, not like your favorite food, but like your favorite food when you've been studying for hours and you forgot to eat or you know, something like that. Um, okay, so this one is kind of, this one's pretty easy actually. Uh, I'm gonna go with I love when I finish something, like, like for instance, a chapstick. This has only happened like a few times. When I finish a chapstick fully, I usually like lose them and I'm terrible for losing my chapstick. But finishing an entire chapstick for me is just like oddly satisfying. To me, that like that feeling is so satisfying. It's my favorite feeling. And yeah, is that weird? Okay, lastly, it says, say the first thing that pops into your head. Um, I don't know why, but I'm really thinking about Bali right now, probably because I just admitted that I think about traveling all the time, and that's like one of my top destinations that I want to go to, so I'm gonna go with that, Bali. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this was kind of fun and interesting. I feel like you can kind of read into my personality if you listen to my answers. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna tag people, but I don't know who's done it or not, so I'm gonna leave the tag to people down below because I'm gonna look to make sure they have not, in fact, done the tag already. And then I'll tag you or shout you out on Twitter to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't seen Katie's video or if you haven't found her channel yet, I highly recommend that you do. She's hilarious, she's just a doll. So I'm gonna link her below and also in the cards um, if I can. And then I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And um, until the next time that I see you guys, happy reading and happy writing. Bye.